Yeah, Hopkins came in, uh, I believe, seventh in the nation in kill percentage. Uh, they are they hit like 265 as a team, and tonight we held them to 134. Uh, but it was our block at the net, and really it was our serving. Our serving putting us in a position. If your serving is on and you can get them out of system, it makes the block so much easier and the defense so much easier. And that's one of the things we're able to do tonight. We had some great serving. And um, you know, I told the girls we we missed 12 and four and four sets, so that's three a game. But you have to serve aggressively if you expect to side them to side them out. Well, sure, in my design, but typically when you win the first set, kind of handily, it's not a good omen <laughs> against a good team like Hopkins. And we were fortunate to win the second set. And you know, really, Meg Wren came off the bench and sparked us in that uh, third set, and we almost ended up. We were actually had game point. We had, had match point and didn't get it, but that's how mentally tough I think we are. You know, we had match point, didn't get it, got back to work in that uh, fourth set, had a couple of, you know, huge blocks. You know, I, I, Victoria Pro Kick had an incredible game. They locked at the box score last night. They say, well, number five's not going to get the ball. Well, she hit four, over 400, had seven blocks tonight, so she had an incredible night along with Mariah Savage on that outside, stopping number 14, their best player and who was a phenomenal player and just a freshman, and I thought that was one of the keys to the game. As Brent Whitehead says, this is not the Annika Swartz show anymore. <laughs> because their best player had to have had 53 swings. Our Annika had 32. Because Katie Leffridge had 11 kills. Annika had 12. Mariah had six. Lauren Weaver had eight. You know, so again, spread out between everyone, and you know, and Chelsea Ireland's blocking at the net. So. Uh, the chances are we're going to see them again if we both get to the NCAA because they're so close in proximity. Wherever they go, we're going to go. So that was more a pride match. And if we are fortunate enough to get to the NCAA, that will help us seeding-wise. Uh, and so that's, so putting that in the win column, and, you know, we've got that home winning streak going that you keep <laughs> printing, and they'd won 18 matches in a row. So it was, it was a great test. It was a great test. They're a great team, so uh, I think everybody saw a great match. And I would be remiss to say, if it wasn't, if the crowd was not here, absolutely, that was the seventh man tonight because they were huge. I haven't heard this place rock like that in years, and that was a phenomenal thing. And it's the men's hockey team started it, and everybody else just chimed in and had a great time tonight.